Hi, friends. Um, this is Miss Aldridge here today talking to you about the fifth grade field trip form that went home in today's Monday folder. I want to draw your attention to two things. Number one, I want to draw your attention down here to the very bottom that talks about children's behavior. Um, we have very strict expectations for leaving the school building. Anytime that we take students outside of the school building, there is a higher risk. And so we want to make sure that we're taking really great kids. And so far, I got really great kids and I'm really happy about it. But I want to be really, really clear with everyone involved that um, there are two expectations that we have for students. There are two things that are going to eliminate a student from going on the field trip. The first is any kind of bus or office referral. If there's any kind of bus or office referral, including the very morning of the field trip, the student will be eliminated. Plans will be made for that student to remain at school in a lower level grade level, and um, they will have some work to complete that day. OK, so uh, that is one way. The second way that a student can be eliminated is, is if they have 10 or more behavior marks. Again, I don't have students who do that, so I'm not expecting any student to be eliminated from this field trip. But those are our clear expectations. The second thing I want to point out to you is that this field trip is to the 6th Cavalry Museum on Barnhart Circle in Fort Oglethorpe. The 6th Cavalry Museum hosts a beautiful World War I and World War II um, exhibition that we are going to see on October 25th. And the space is limited. They invite all of the fifth grade classes from Catoosa County and Walker County to visit this museum on two days. Therefore, the parking is um, completely fill, filled with school buses and the facility is filled with students. Therefore, the museum asks that parents do not attend this particular field trip. I know I'm upset about that, too, but it's the museum's request and we honor that. Um, there will be a second field trip that we will go on. Um, in the spring that's always planned for fifth graders that everyone is invited to go on. Um, so, and also know that the museum usually offers um, activities for you to do with your student, to go and see with your student if you're interested on the Saturday following these field trips, which is October 26th. Um, so please feel welcome to do that. At the bottom of the form, I'd like for you to tell me what your student's going to eat for lunch that day. And please Send something for your student to eat if you choose a lunchbox um, or allow your student to purchase one from the lunchroom. Um, I've had students who've come and they've been hungry at a field trip. They've never been hungry on a field trip. I always bring extra food and we feed them. But don't have your kid be the one to not have lunch. The second one, the second uh, part of page of this is the field trip permission form. This does need to be signed and returned. This is their ticket to get on the bus. Um, if your student brings both of these in tomorrow, I've told them, which is Tuesday, October 1st, then I've told them that I would give them $100 bonus. Well done. And since you watched this video all the way to the end, if you would tell me what your favorite historical topic is in the comments on Dojo, and I'll give your student another $100 bonus, and they will appreciate that. Thanks. See you later.